Hi guys, it's me. I'm back. I'm going to explain to you guys a little bit about what's been going on here in Barstow, California. Um, there's a measure, Measure Q, on the ballot, November 6th. Don't forget to vote. Whoop, whoop. There's a measure, Measure Q, that's creating uh, quite a controversy here in Barstow. And that Measure Q... Mm, seems to be dividing people it's it's crazy I mean people who have been friends for like 30 40 50 years are kind of going at each other's throats and saying things about each other and friends I mean wow but anyway this measure Q is um, one of those self -im what is it self-imposed general taxes that Barstow wants to impose on their residents, on their city residents. They want to hike it up a whole 1%, which would make Barstow's sales tax 8.75%, which I believe might be one of the highest in the county of San Bernardino. So some are vote wanting to vote yes, Others are against it, no, which myself, I'm against it. Only because it just appears to me to be an open-ended measure. It's like a credit card with no limit. Well, $7 million, But you can do whatever you choose within your little city council meeting on what you want to do with it, including who gets a raise and who's going where and what car and you know I mean that's kind of to me it bothers me because I believe that happened in I'm not sure if it was Glendale or something well anyway it, it's just too open-ended it's not where specifically okay we're gonna give two million you know to the fire department one million to the police department you know, we're going to do 50000 on parks and recs and, you know, none of that. It's just an open end. Give us $7 million and for us to do what we feel we want to do with it. Doesn't make sense to me. Not at all. And a lot of the people that I've run across that <clears throat> are going along with, you know, voting yes... <laughs> on measure Q is because they don't they they have this fear that they're going to lose their city fire department which I had to tell one person just well not really tell them but ask them so if everyone well if vote no on measure Q wins you're not going to have a fire department anymore and all they could do was look at me you know it's it's scare tactics that's going going on if, let's see, let me see how this goes. It'll be a 1% sales tax increase. If yes on Q passes. If it doesn't pass with a no on Q, there will be a property tax increase. I believe, I'm still trying to get this under control here, get it embedded here. Uh, it will be $157. So if you already live in a home, own a home in Barstow, you will have a $57 annual, one time a year, tax increase. Hmm. If you buy a home in Barstow, a new homeowner, you will pay one hundred and fifty seven dollars annually one time a year in your property taxes and you get those deductions back at the end of the year look at the damage you're gonna do with those that are complaining about the poverty level the poverty level here in Barstow versus what you're gonna do if you pass this measure it's only going to help those that live outside of the city limits. How many of the people, professionals, um, firefighters, police officers, nurses, doctors, teachers, gardeners, 
How many of them live in the city of Barstow? Actually, how many? Hmm. Think about it. They'll come here, make big bucks, and go home and be able to live like the rest of the other people in the county of San Bernardino. Now, one more, not one more, but one more reason that flags my brain on this 1% tax increase. Something's wrong. If the budget is so messed up, <laughs> why should the citizens have to pay for what you're doing wrong? This is a city, Barstow, California, the gateway towards Las Vegas, Nevada, Sin City, where millions of people, travelers, go through. Those are who are going to be taxed are the residents, the travelers, and the visitors. Those are the ones who are going to be affected by yes on measure Q. The ones that endorse yes on measure Q, do they actually live in the city? So, hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. These pensions are looking mighty nice. Could a yes on Measure Q actually increase these pensions and these 401ks? Ah. It's open ended. That's my main objection, besides it being impractical for the residents. Black people, not white people. Poor people, working people, homeless people, people who've been here for many years that are still struggling, citizens of the city of Barstow, S residents of the city of Barstow. If you don't make big bucks, don't vote yes. Don't do it, not on Measure Q. I believe there was a similar measure not too long ago, Measure J, that didn't make it. And it was, from what I understand, I haven't researched it, so don't quote me on it. Kind of the same thing. It just failed. <laughs> so my thing is, with this whole protesting thing, We've, we've been doing it. This is about the third week, I believe. It's pretty fun. A lot of nice people keep you laughing, keep you on your toes, keep you, you know, make your day go by really well, really good. And it just so happened that this past weekend on Saturday, it, it, it could have gotten ugly, but it didn't. And, you know, I'm so thankful that we had intelligent, peaceful <laughs> People out there are holding the signs, no, on Measure Q. Because we had one individual who um, decided to come to the protest and become very nasty with the other, with the no on Q, uh, making a lot of racial connotations and kind of baiting people into saying things that it was just not good even as far as going up to someone one of the one of the um people holding the signs one of the volunteers called she called him her her brother she's known him since he was yay high her brother she went across to interview him and that's when she went on to say things in her um on her facebook post that did in my opinion, because we were doing just fine before that happened when she posted <clears throat> her post on Saturday, it really became ugly. And that just wasn't unacceptable. That was unacceptable. I mean, it's like everyone has a right. Either you want to vote yes or you want to vote no. You shouldn't be bullied. 
You shouldn't be called ignorant. You shouldn't be told you're stupid. You shouldn't be told you don't know what you're talking about. You know, I mean, everyone doesn't have the details like she did. And then she called a couple of her friends. Well, she had one with her, and she called a couple more of her friends to come out to support her, which was really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It just wasn't nice after she posted her um, social media post. However, she didn't post the other videos that she was taking calling the other people these names, derogatory terms, and about the music and the cussing and the things she, it was just, that's not peaceful protesting. That's, I mean, when you're in people's face, literally in their face, telling them they're stupid, they're getting paid $15 an hour. And if they were, <laughs> this is my point, they're not out robbing and stealing. They're earning their money and they're supporting Measure Q. And they're getting the word out there, obviously. What's the problem? Is this supposed to be a secret? Well, in my opinion, what she did was <clears throat> she brought more attention to Measure No. I mean, excuse me, for No on Measure Q. And... Excuse me for moving around, you guys. When my arms get into, I had a long day. We were protesting. We went to the city council meeting. Um. Anyway, this young lady. Uh. It wasn't very nice. It was very racially motivated, in my opinion. I forgive her. You know, on the outside, I think she's probably a really sweet person. I would probably like her as a friend, but. You know, maybe she realizes she made a mistake. She kind of went about things the wrong way. But what I did see reading her posts, all of the views that she's gotten on them, hundreds of views, and on one of them, like over a thousand, thirteen hundred or something views. I didn't hear no negative racial mean, nasty comments. Yeah, some insinuating type, her friends, of course. <laughs> I believe the two of them were there, but I could be wrong. But yeah, other than that, that's what I love about Barstow. There was no, let's all jump on the bandwagon and be racially plugged onto this. Some did. <laughs> some fell into it but most didn't and that's the good thing we got a lot of positive feedback out there a lot of honks and thumbs ups you know and I do understand the people who want yes for measure Q I understand their view however I don't want the taxes raised to 1% with an open credit card line of credit not even credit just hmm. so anyway that's my take on it the meeting went the city council meeting went pretty well I, I enjoyed it um, met some really awesome people <laughs> yes and no's on measure Q and other measures and it was great so I will keep you posted on this event and you like and share <laughs> I'm laughing because someone said something behind me but you like share and subscribe and I'll keep you posted on the next events <laughs> use your brain in your opinion my opinion 
No on measure Q. Do your homework. Those paying those taxes will be you city residents, you living in the city, travelers, millions of travelers going through Barstow, and visitors. You're going to have to go to another city. You got to go to Victorville to go grocery shopping. No, not really. That's not true because it's not taxed. The food is not taxed. Mm. That part we all agree on. The food, there's no increase on the tax on food. It's just tangible things you can buy and use and do stuff like that. <laughs> so, um, am I leaving anything out? If I am, besides the fact that, mm, just some things that were said that were slandering, uh, Dr. Paul Courtney, I, I believe that he should have, should have gotten an apology for the things that were said. It's just, it was so horrible. <laughs> so like I said, like and subscribe, I'll keep you posted, and um... I'll see you soon.